What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Let's get on to a little bit of the Christmas spirit and let's make our own ornament. So this video kind of came from the idea of seeing some 3D printed course Christmas ornaments and and wanting to be able to replicate it. How do we how do we reproduce what they made? And and with some tinkering, I think I found a solution. And so there might be a better one out there, but this is the one that I found so far. Okay, first thing we are going to do is we're going to create a sketch of a shell that's going to be used for our Christmas ornament. So I'm going to create, draw a circle here. Let's give it um, 3.5 inches in diameter. And then I'm going to draw another circle and let's give it just a slightly bit more. So 3.75 inches in diameter. And then uh, start to do a little bit of geometry from here. Now, it won't make sense quite what we're doing just yet, but I'm just gonna go ahead and draw a little segment in here for some clearance on our, uh, our circle. And then we're gonna draw one last piece is going to be a construction line going all the way through. Looks good to me so far. Okay, I'm gonna hit T for trim. And we're actually going to delete some of those uh, circles already, or at least half of those circles. And then uh, we could even clean up this a little bit. However, for right now, it's okay. Hit Finish Sketch, and we're going to revolve. We're going to revolve this shell, which is going to be the thickness of our ornament body, around that center axis. And so what this is going to do for us is this is going to create a shell for our body of our ornament. You can see we're, we're empty, we're hollow on the inside. Okay, what do we do next? I'm going to create another sketch on this plane, and this sketch is going to be some geometry that you want to do. If you want to be complex, a nice swooping feature, I am just going to do a couple points on a spline, nothing too crazy, and hit the green check mark, and that looks good. To help match this, I'm going to use the offset tool, and so we're going to offset this line in either direction. I'm just going to do an eighth of an inch, and that looks good. We're going to complete the profiles of those two lines, those two splines, to where I do have a complete profile for us to use for an intersect. I'm like, whoa, what in the heck's going on? Let's check it out. I'm going to hit extrude now, but notice what we're going to do here on this extrude. Instead of a uh, two-sided extrusion to cut into is how do we how do we do something that is actually going to reproduce or do an intersect? So we're going to do a new body here. Actually, might even go to just intersect from here. Oh, we sure can. Look at that. Checks out. Looks smooth. Click OK. And you're like, oh, great. We just made a ring. Almost. Check this out. We're going to turn that sketch, that first sketch, back on. And then we're going to do a circular pattern. So I'm going to go to Pattern, Circular. What are we going to repeat? We're going to repeat that. This ring structure we made, that body, the object's going to be that. The axis is going to be this center line right here. And we're going to bump it up to like, let's try 15. And that looks good. So we click OK. And what do you know? We've already created some unique geometry for our ornament. There's a couple things I want to do. I'm actually going to hit backwards on my timeline. So we're going to hit left one more time. And I'm going to use the fillet command to round out some of these edges just to give it a smooth, less mechanical, more organic look. Click OK. And we smoothed out that ring. So if I go to this end here, we get some different, uh, uh, maybe a little bit too much on that fillet. Let's go 0 0.05. Just to something, give it some nice rounded edges. That way, when I do my circular pattern, we got some interesting features here. You can tell we do have a little bit of an issue with my top and the bottom here. We do have a little bit of a gap, and I want to show you how to fix that. I'm going to go back to that spline sketch. Since it is undefined, we can actually move pieces of this and get that closer to 
that center gap. So you can see the bottom of my spline is aligned with the center axis. And then we can do the same thing actually with this top edge. We can actually drag that to be closer towards the top. Click Finish Sketch. And boom, it recalculates all those pieces for me. So you notice I've got more of a closed gap on the top. Our bottom is almost completely empty. And we've got some really cool geometry on the center part, what our ornament looks like. We do need to add a little bit of a hanger here. So I'm going to click on Create a New Sketch. Um, oh, I was clicked on something else. Let's try that again. Uh, let's turn our origin planes on. And then I'm going to turn that body off real quick. Turn that sketch off while we're at it. Let's do an offset plane. So I'm going to right click on this offset plane. For that, I believe that's going to be right around three and a quarter inches. So I'm just going to do, let's do slightly bit 1.75 and that looks good to me. We're going to create a sketch on that plane. Hit C for circle and we're just going to bring in some geometry that allows us to finish that profile for our ornament. Bring it up just a hair and make it as join. It's going to have to think for a little bit because we're doing some pretty complex geometry all at the same time. We do get a little sometimes uh, some probably some issues with this. And so actually, um, I work around to this, especially if your computer's struggling like mine is right now, uh, we can do a little bit some different operations. So pause the video. We're going to reset and come back. Uh, never mind. It looks like it worked. We click OK. We got any problems? We're going to try it out. Looks good. Hey, wouldn't you know? There we go. It just had to think for a little while. I did have to pause my software, and so just to give it a chance for it to breathe, um, my computer was crying there for a little bit. Okay, we are almost done. The last thing we need to do is put a little bit of a ring for our, uh, our ornament to hang off of. So I'm going to click on Create a New Sketch. I'm going to click on this front plane or this back plane right here, technically, and I'm just going to do two circles. One's going to be right in the middle. Looks great. That looks way far away, so let's try that again. It's a little bit closer. And then one more. We could dimension those while we're at it, so I'll probably do 0 0.65. And then let's do 0 0.45. Click Finish Sketch. Hit E for Extrude. Do a symmetrical extrusion on that, so we hit two sides. And then do a join. Looks good to me, folks. I'll probably do an eighth of an inch on that symmetrical extrusion. You can even come in here with the fillet and make some of those fillets just a little bit smoother. So that way, apart, you looks even better. Looks good to me. Just for sakes of appearance, we can hit A on our key keyboard for our shortcut for appearance. Let's do some colors. So let's do some Christmas colors. So let's try red. So we have a nice little red color here for our ornament. Looks good to me, folks. You guys are awesome. Stay awesome. Hopefully you can do some interesting stuff with this, uh, making some ornaments. If this video has actually been helpful and you make some ornaments of your own, feel free to tag me over on X, formerly known as Twitter. Um, and then I'd love to see some of the creations that you guys make. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.